you guys didn't lose, you guys officially made me more happy. So put my cosplay against needing heathens and heretics. Um, yeah, we definitely, I definitely want to get to the devotees status. Plus, if we get this, devoted Catholicism, I, I really do just think that this is like, this is like a good, this is like a good bonuses that will add to our faith. I mean, not to our faith, to our empire, especially with Castilians already natural like, you know, stuff. Anyways, we have Austria in this war of craziness. I don't know how they haven't given up yet. I mean, at some point, you just gotta bite the bullet, Austria, and say, like, well, I think we lost. I, th there's really not much else we can do about this situation. Granada, really? Oh. Okay, so apparently Granada revolted, and apparently decided, yeah, we're against that now. Cool. I don't have to deal with anything. So, let's see. Yeah, those ships are being built. Peace. That's good. I don't even know what happened in that war, but it was probably very important. Colony damage. Okay, this is gonna annoy me forever, so... We're going to completely lower army maintenance, because we don't need to be high. Like, honestly, we don't. Um, and we're going to go send, like, a 10k army to the New World. And yes, that sounds really over-generous, especially for the New World, but I don't care. It's going to annoy me so much to have my colonies keep being broken up by the stupid, uh, natives. Yeah, because I, I don't like that. I don't like when the natives, like, are being all like, Hooper, 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 let's break up my colonies. Of course... The king, the king will not mind. Oh, they broke up the one good one, too. So let's go back over here, send my colonial guy. Especially since this is like an eight-tax province. That's like insanely good. In fact, we should probably be colonizing all of this first. Because this is all good land. I mean, no offense to this land, but it's just not as good. So let's go get this, let's go get this guy right over here. And we could possibly gain the, like, papal influence stuff if we have enough. Come on, go, colony, go! Colony, 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 colony. Okay, you have to give it a second. Get all the troops out. Spare no expense. Yeah, let's spare no expense. I mean, I don't really care about uh, inflation. Let's get back down here. Then you guys get back all the way over here. Gibraltar, again, revolted. And apparently, something's going on in Morocco where they just got, like, completely owned. You guys go rebel stomp. And honestly, actually, we actually don't need this many troops over here. What am I saying? Let's, like, divide. Yeah. Four troops is about good enough over here. We really... Four troops... Yeah, four troops is way more than enough. What am I talking about? That's way more than enough troops over there. So we're going to keep them over there, but... Uh, we're finally doing it, guys. We're finally... You know, colonizing to Espana. And apparently, Algiers decided to be a, a, a jerk and decided to stop my trade. Why? I don't know, but they just wanted to. They're just like, hey, let's go stop Castile's trade. They totally won't do anything to stop him later. And let's just start, like, doing some money stuff. And we could probably afford another advisor. I mean, yeah, we just have to, like, put down our militaristics a little bit more. Eh. Put down our colonies by a little bit. I mean, I don't think 38. 38 per year. That's basically good, because I mean we're getting about 50 per year. Hmm. 50 per year. Actually, whoa, how did we get to 0.64? Okay, you know what? I'm just gonna keep that. 0.64 for full colonies every year? Yeah, we're totally doing that. Okay, so let's see. Have our ideas changed? Change spread culture to Tangiers, not really good. Continue to leave Conquista. I would only do that if they are really weak right now. How are y'all like? Yeah, they're not really weak right now, so no. Let's go get you guys grouped up with them. Oh my goodness, we're finally starting to colonize. We're finally starting to colonize the Terra de Espana. It took us so long, but it finally is happening. I am happy right now, guys. Like, seriously, I am happy. This province is going to be a pain to colonize, but once it's finally ours, it's going to be like the greatest colony ever. Mm. Also, one thing I did notice about my colonies that I just realized I should probably do is... I should probably go get like... Oh, whoa, whoa, what? what the, there we go. I don't know why that was going really slow. Okay, once these guys heal up again, I'm going to go send these guys out. Go divide this army one more time and go send half the army down there. Because, yeah, that's going to keep happening, and I'm not going to like that. But, yeah, honestly, this 
like over here we should just focus on over here this is this is where the loop this is where the good colonies I think are especially since this is also where the main land is this is where good colonies are so I think we're definitely gonna focus on this and eight province bro. oh my goodness that is that this is gonna be a great province if we get it and if it has gold on it it would be like the best province in the world hands down the best province in the world uh, missionary strength that'd be so nice but I'm not gonna do it quite yet uh, technology we are teching down we got more militaristic strength we formed no I think we just upgrade our cannons to small to small or large which one do we like um, let's see what are we really good at we're really good at the uh, at the fire phase so if we could like get really powerful fire uh, yeah, I think the Lord's Cast Iron would be better for us, because plus our bonus of fire, it'd probably be the best. Okay, divide one more time, go send a couple of the army men to go on these boats, and we're gonna send them to our other colony to make sure it does not fall. Because we don't want any of our colonies to fall. We definitely don't want any of our colonies to fall. And with that, we are slowly creating our empire. I'm, I'm really pumped, guys. We're finally starting to do it, and let's finally boost our stability up. Cause that will help our money woes just a little bit and having a little bit more of a expansion problem expansionist thing happen let's also core this too that way we have two more lands and we almost look like proper proper spain about this time well actually we're a little bit weaker than spain was at about this time because it had all the incan land about now but to be fair we really couldn't colonize for like the last couple of years so i don't count that Alright, and there we go. These guys are now over here. So now both these colonies should live forever. We don't have to deal with any more problems. And I can just send both these guys back. Uh, and now I feel like this is this is actually complete. We are really starting this. Um, and we really are starting to actually do some good tech gains now. 777. Seven, seven. We're probably going to start catching up to our other neighbors in a little bit. We should be getting some bonuses too because we're behind, right? Uh, increase over time. Increase over time. Ooh, that's gonna affect us. That's not good. Oh my goodness. And disputed succession of Unchent. Is anyone? That's the only country that's really disputed right now. What? Really? Other countries are actually stable in this world. Gosh, it makes me kind of feel sad. I mean, really. I was kind of hoping that we'd have this. Holy shoot! That's a massive Poland. Uh, uh, lose the prestige, seriously, I've, I, well, we don't have any, like, control cardinals, yeah, let's go see, we probably invest, is anyone coming after my cardinal here, not really, so we could probably invest in another cardinal, let's just firmly secure this one, and then start investing into this one, okay, but, oh my goodness, that is a massive Poland, I, uh, Poland doesn't usually do it. It doesn't usually like. Oh my goodness. Wow. Um. Yeah, that's that's a Poland, everyone. Like, I wonder why it has. Dang, I wonder why it hasn't formed a Commonwealth though. That's the only thing I don't get. We just got our first trade. What do you guys have? Wait, native assimilation. Who's So let's see. The growth rate of this colony is actually pretty good right now. What do you guys have? You guys are mainly a naval supplies. That's not good. I was hoping a little bit better. But, yes. Yeah, still shocked about that Poland. <laughs> like, how much does Poland have now? Let's go to army. Like, Poland, what? what is your power? Like, am I actually going to have to be afraid of Poland? Mm, moderately so. Let's see. What's our power right now? Uh, Castile, Castile, Castile. Yep, we have to be afraid of Poland now. It doesn't usually happen in any of my games, but we are afraid of Poland. Um, gosh dang. If now if they just, like, annex the Livonian order, they could, like, really, like, spread an empire. Like, that would be a pretty good empire right there. Having all of that. Missionary strength! Oh, yeah, missionary zeal. Okay, okay. So with that 1%, that means... Oh, yeah. Okay, we can finally do it guys. We can finally convert this province. Okay, this is gonna increase my tech cost, but 
with that, we are finally going to be able to convert this stupid province. And this one over here. That should actually make my money go to negatives, I think. No, it won't! Won't go to negatives? Oh, thank goodness. But we finally are doing it. We're finally starting to convert these two provinces. Wait, is this one going still? Yes. Yeah, they're both going. Good. Whew! I thought I thought we weren't going to have... I thought I miscalculated and we weren't actually going to be able to, like, do anything. And plus this... Plus we get positive relationships, that should encourage that. And now look at that, look how much like power we have. We are going to convert these two provinces, they're finally going to be completely ours. Andalusian, we can accept that culture. And we finally accept Catalinian! Oh, thank goodness. That means, how much time do we have to wait until they finally become ours? Revolt risk, um, contestion of church, I don't really care about that. Yeah, we just have to wait till this cores, and then we finally get them underneath our roof. This is cool. Alright, and then ideas. We can finally get some more ideas. Um, do we still have to be taking down? I think we still have to be taking down a little bit. I don't think we're caught up yet with the rest of the... Yeah, 7, 10, 11, 10. Could we even... Would this even be worth it? Uh, naval maintenance. Nah, this isn't... This isn't this big of a jump, so... We kind of... Well, we kind of do need to keep this up, though. And... We don't... But the global terrors really... Hmm... Nah. I, I just won't do it, because we need to... We need to tech down a little bit more before we do that. It just... It... It's gonna be beneficial more in the long run if we tech down and catch up to our competitors, and then start taking down ideas group. Because otherwise, you're supposed to use, basically you're supposed to use ideas group when it's more beneficial to you. When it's not beneficial to you, you shouldn't use it. Let's see. We have two very good conquistadors. Let's see. Oh, this one's, this colony's growing nice. Once this becomes like a full-fledged colony, oh man, this is going to be so nice to have. Oh, and finally, we have the first indication of new Portugal. And now Portugal is now colonizing over there. I don't know what they're doing. Like, now they have New Portugal, which is a really, really good province, but it's, like, completely useless. Because it has, like, no army whatsoever. Wow. And this is probably going to be the main colonial power my my colonies are going to be fighting. Which is interesting to think about. Like, this is going to be their main enemy. So, look at New Portugal, guys, and think of them as our enemy. Uh, think of Portugal, though, as our friend, because we love Portugal. Portugal is like our buddy. Like, if there's anyone that is our buddy in this world, it's Portugal. Until they start thinking of us as a rival, then we're going to have to kill them. But apparently they don't think of us as a rival. They still love us to death. And you know what? They should. Because we are awesome. We are awesome overlords. <laughs> we're kind of cocky, but yes, we're awesome overlords. Okay, I'm so, I'm so glad this is finally happening. And I don't know when did this become Catholic. Oh my goodness, if I had known this was Catholic, oh my goodness, oh my goodness, and we just became the papal controller. Wow, um, great days for everyone. Let's start investing in more papal stuff. Let's get this cardinal right here so we can start keeping our generations going alive. Now we got another diplomat, so let's start improving relationships with people that hate us. Poland, you look very powerful right now, as I pointed out, and ambiguously told everyone let's become buddies like let's become good friends you'll become my like my land army over here in europe and i'll just be the colonial army okay so let's see grant export license with the crown could not or would not pay cash to the nobles they would instead grant them privileges to collect special revenues from which they could make hefty profit grant privileges lose legitimacy oh and Algiers apparently likes us. Taxation boost for five years. Uh, lose legitimacy. You know, I have maximum legitimacy. Why would I not do this? It's like such a good event. There's like nothing bad about it for once. And we have gained a core province. And colonially, we have finally got our first colony. Yes! <laughs> Before this episode ended, we finally got our first colony. And... You know what? That was pretty awesome. Let's start colonizing in St. Lucia next. Oh, man. I want to thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time.